I'm here at the Stitch House Dallas. We're having a lot of fun, as you can tell. And you know what? One of my favorite things on the long arm is rulers. I love them. I love everything about them. I love all of them. Um, I don't love when people hit them, but you just gotta be safe. Sure foot, ruler base, do the, um, follow the rules and you're gonna be okay. So today, bye. So let's get back to it. There's a few things you gotta follow when you're doing rulers. You have to have the ruler base and the sure foot means you sure are being safe with your hands. So in honor of rulers, I'm gonna make one of my um, favorite drinks, the go get em girl, AKA a Cosmo. So what we're gonna need is some vodka. About that much. And you're also gonna need some cranberry. There we go. You don't want it too red. Too red, it's pink, it's a Cosmo, and a half a lime. All in a shaker with some ice. And let's shake a rattle and roll. Ooh, my hands are cold. All right, so we're all shaken up. Quick tip, martini glass. If you don't keep yours in the freezer like me, a few cubes of ice and some water. Let it quick chill, taste the water. Now that's H2O refreshing. And now we can pour our very light pink cocktail into our martini glass. And now I'm classy enough to go play on a long arm. Delicious. So let's go over the long arm. I'm not gonna drink much of this. I'm gonna go use some rulers and we'll see you back here in a second. Bye guys. Oh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> and you know, Brian and Jessica asked me what my favorite thing to do on the long arm is, and by far, it is using rulers. So, um, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite rulers, and I just loaded up some scrap fabric. I'm, um, I'm someone who likes to play, and I like to play by actually doing it, so I um, will load up some scrap fabric, and this is what I tell people. Pick a color of thread, something that you like. In this case, I have like kind of a hot pink, because it matches my shirt. Cause you know, you gotta be all bright and shiny with me. Um, so there's a few rules when we're using rulers that we're gonna talk about before we actually use them. One, you have to have a ruler base. Um, what the ruler base does, it gives you a platform for those rulers to sit on. Because you know, the, um, the arm of your throat is not very wide. So if I have my favorite ruler, the HQ Skinny Ruler, and I'm trying to hold this here, like, it's wiggle, wobble, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. But watch this. You pop this ruler base on, no wiggle, no wobble, I'm not gonna die. So you have to have a ruler base. Number two, a sure foot. A sure foot is the handy quilter ruler foot. Um, it brought the profile of the um, closed ruler foot up another eighth of an inch. So now you have a full quarter inch to work with. Um, when you're working with the rulers. And the foot is gonna be the same height as the rulers now. So it's, I always say, you're sure being safe with the sure foot. And the last thing, oh, and I'll show you the difference when we come in close. The last thing is handy grip. This is a non-skid kind of um, sticker that, put, that you can put on the back of the ruler and it helps keep your ruler from sliding. These little um, blue, blue uh, tape on here, the uh, painter's tape, we put the painter's tape on because if you're putting some rulers and you store your rulers in a drawer, you want to put some painter's tape on top of the, um, the handy grip because they will scratch your rulers back and forth. So just be careful. Um, this stuff works great. It'll last a lifetime. Just rip little pieces off, stick them on the back of your rulers, and when you get to what you um, you get to where that ruler is going to um, stay nice and safe, you're good. You don't need it anymore. So. Um, I'm gonna bring you up close and I'm gonna stitch out and show you some of the, my favorite rulers and yeah, we'll go from there. See you in a second. Okay guys, so this is the sure foot. Here's the ruler foot that comes with your machine. Can you see the difference, the profile difference? So this extra height is now the same height of, as the rulers and it keeps the ruler from jumping on top of this foot and sliding between the needle and the foot itself. Um, 
it's like like I said, it's just another safety precaution. So I never use rulers without that uh, sure foot on. And a matter of fact, I always leave the sure foot on because the ruler touches every quilt I do. Hence, I like to use rulers. So um, we're just gonna go through a few of my favorites. This is the um, the HQ. Let me see if, the HQ skinny ruler and the HQ mini ruler. Um, there we go. Um, I like these because I have small hands and these rulers fit really nice in my grip. So when you're using a ruler, I'm gonna do a little tie off. I currently have my machine settings. They are um, 10 stitches an inch. I'm in regulated cruise and my cruise is at 25. I like to do that because if my needle's moving, I'm not allowed to move the ruler. So I know, turn the ruler off or turn the machine off before you start stitching. So I'm gonna just stitch a straight line coming down. And I have a plumb line up here so I can use the lines on my ruler, put them on that plumb line. And now I know I'm making a right angle from this plumb line and I'm going to stitch. I'll stitch back to that plumb line and come back to it. So some things you're gonna notice, the needle is not stitching on the edge of this ruler. You're stitching a quarter inch away from that. So the needle is a quarter inch away from the all sides of this uh, sure foot. So if I want to stitch a right, a, an angle to the right, and I will just use the mini ruler, I'm going to use the lines on the ruler again, line them up with the line I just stitched, and now I can stitch to the right. And now I'm getting nice, sharp right angles while I stitch. Um, I love, again, I love these rulers. They fit in my hand. They feel really good as I'm holding it and doing a lot of line work. And believe me, I love to do straight line quilting. I would say I'm definitely a modern quilter. So these come in handy all the time. Um, another one of my favorites is the Hexi template. And this is the HQ Hexi one and a half. And if you have a ruler that has this groove in it, that groove is made to slide right over your hopping foot when your needle's up. So I can raise my needle, slide this over, and now I'm using an interior design here. And I can line this up. I'm gonna eyeball that quarter inch from this, from this uh, the stitch I just made. And I do have a quarter inch mark that slides in right, right here on this ruler. So I can line this quarter inch mark up with where it intersects here. And that's gonna show me that I'm lining that up really nice. And even though there's that groove there, I'm gonna stitch right around it. So I'm gonna stitch maybe around and I'm planning my path. So I wanna come back to this point. So I can stitch and I'm not trying to win any races. And I'm gonna pause really quick cause I just realized that my gears are still up and I want to bring my gears down because it's not gonna give me as much, um, or I wanna raise my gears because it's not gonna give me as much uh, tension trying to move this around. And then I can move back. So there, I have my first hexi, and now maybe I wanna pop another in, one in right here. And so this time I'm gonna end at that point. And I'm gonna hit start. And when you're using rulers, we're not winning any races. This is definitely not the rabbit or the turtle, but you're trying to be precise. You're not trying to be fast. So now I have my two hexes. I'm going to dismount my ruler. So that's the hexi ruler. Um, another ruler I really enjoy are the circle rulers. This one happens to be the HQ um, two and a half inch circle template. Um, I don't have my Swiss cheese rulers with me, but I love the HQ Swiss cheese rulers because they give you multiple circles in one. So I'm gonna take this painter's tape off and they both have three and they're um, a little bit smaller. So this is gonna be the biggest um, interior circle, like just circle ruler. We do have a whole set of circle rulers, but um, again, this one has the um, little groove so I can needle up and slide right on. Now, when you're working in a circle, because you're always keeping the edge of that foot in contact with the side of that ruler, when I'm working in a circle, I wanna, one, I'm gonna eyeball that corner. So I'm gonna try to hit this intersection right here. So I'm gonna eyeball that quarter inch. Um, you also have to be really careful that you're always staying in contact as you go around that ruler. So um, I always say, 
the one time you can't let your mind stray and you can't sing along with the radio is when you're working with rulers because that's when you make a mistake. Believe me, I've done it. And then I did it again when I was reprimanding, reprimanding myself in my head, saying, you know better than that. So when you're doing a circle, same thing. Just decide where you want to end. I can slide that circle ruler over, add another one. Maybe I want like a half circle in there or to do a little wedge shape. It's your shape, you get to do what you want. So I'm gonna dismount my ruler again. What other sh rulers do I like? I like, I dropped my rulers on the ground ruler. So this is one of our, um, one of our w uh, wave rulers. You can see this one's pretty scratched up and dinged up. Um, this one goes to a lot of classes with me and I didn't put the painter's tape on it. So, um, but these wave rulers are really nice because it's going to give you start and stop points so that if I stitch all the way across, and let me see, I'm going to stitch come back here. So I'll pick a point to start at and we'll say we're going to start here. So here's my needle, needle stop, needle stop, needle start, whatever. I'm starting here. So it's going to be my needle start and I'm going to start stitching. And you'll notice I'm going to get to a spot. I'll slide my fingers because I've done this a lot. Now you might not have stitched with rulers a ton, so you don't want to slide your fingers. You want to actually stop and move that ruler down a little bit. Um, the other thing is I want to make sure if I can't read handy gadgets, this ruler is not doing me justice because it is not going to be as accurate if it's flipped upside down. Now saying that, I'm about to flip it upside down because I'm going to use, I want the same curve, but I want the opposite way. And I, the only way to do that, I could shift it down, but or I could just flip it around. And I'm just eyeballing this quarter inch intersection and I'll stitch down. I can pause, move my hand down and go again. So now there's a design using the wave ruler. All right, so these are some of my favorite rulers. I really, like I said, I really love the circles. By far, the HQ skinny ruler and the um, HQ mini ruler are gonna just destroy any of its competition in my mind because they are so great for straight lines and that's what I love to do. I'm gonna come back up to this design and show you how I, I use these rulers to kind of do something, a more modern look. And um, I'm not gonna make you watch me do the whole thing, so we'll speed it up, but I'm pretty fast. So there you have it, a few of my favorite rulers, um, a little technique to make things look, look a little more modern. So all you have to do is throw in some shapes, any shape, a triangle, a square, a circle, a, heck, a dudodecagon, 20 sided figure, and um, add some straight line quilting around it. And um, you know, they don't have to be a quarter inch. They don't have to be an eighth of an inch. You make up what you want them to be, and that's the way they should be. And um, by not making them all the same, they don't have to be the same. They look good. You feel better about yourself. You just saved $100 on therapy. So for real. Um, also, make sure you check out the Ruler of the Month Club. Um, all these rulers are behind the thing. They've been used. But um, this is, I think, I believe Ruler of the Month Club 6. You can call the shop. But what it is, it's a different ruler every month for six months. You can only get them if you're part of the club. And um, it's super fun because you get an extra little bonus gift at the end. But there are rulers that are only available during the club. And really, the um, which one is this one? The flip side template, it's a curved ruler with the same um, curve on both edges, is worth the price of admission. Come on. So um, thanks for coming by. I'm Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. Make sure you go and check me out. And um, like and subscribe to the video. You know, we're at the Stitch House and we all love them. We'll see y'all next, uh, next video.